Hi guys, Kristen here with Cedarside. Um, I'm here to talk to you guys today about how to keep your, bu your lawn bug free. Um, we have this awesome kit called the Lawn and Garden Kit that includes both of our outdoor products, the lawn spray as well as our cedar granules. Um, it is the best value for keeping your lawn bug free, so we're going to talk a little bit today about how to use uh, that product to get the bug free yard that you so deserve. So, first things first, what comes in the kit? Um, it comes in three separate sizes based on how much space you're trying to treat. Uh, the small lawn and garden kit is going to uh, treat small spaces like apartment little lawns or, um, or townhouses, something very small, about an eighth of an acre. Uh, if you've got any more space than that, you're going to want to go with our medium kit and above. Uh, before I get too much further in, I did want to let you guys know we're doing something new today on our live stream. We are giving away a lawn and garden kit. Um, so that will happen tomorrow. You have 24 hours from right now to uh, comment and uh, we'll cut it off then. Uh, after that, we will pick someone and reach out to you uh, to get a lawn and garden kit. So if you want to win a lawn and garden kit, uh, comment. You don't have to comment anything in particular, preferably something related to the video, maybe some questions about the product, but any comment is entered to win um, and then we will reach out to you uh, if you're the winner. So be sure to leave your comment. Um, all right, back into the kit. So uh, it comes with a lawn spray. So the small kit is going to include the Yard Safe, which is ready to use product. Like I mentioned, it only treats about an eighth of an acre. Um, and it will also include one bag of cedar granules. Uh, the yard, yard safe is ready to use, like I mentioned. So all you do is hook it up to your garden hose on this end and hold and spray out that end. You make sure that it's set to mix um, on this little dial here. And then it pulls up product and it disperses it onto your lawn as you spray water. So it's like watering your lawn just with something extra going out there in the water to help uh, kill and repel pests. The medium and the large kits are gonna include our yard concentrate PCO Choice. It comes in a quart size like this, um, or it may be off screen, but PCO Choice uh, also comes in a gallon we have back there. So the medium kit's gonna include the uh, quart, and the large is gonna include the gallon, um, and then they're each going to have um, granules with them as well. I believe the medium's two and the large is four bags of granules. Um, so the PCO Choice works very similar to the Yard Safe, except for that you're going to have to dilute it first. So you get one of these handy little um, hose end sprayers. It works the same way as this spray top. You hook your garden hose up to this end, hold, and it sprays out that end while it pulls product up from inside through this tube here. So basically what you do, you got this, got little markings on here, and you're going to put uh, about four ounces of PCO Choice and then fill it up the rest of the way with warm water. Put your lid on, mix it up a little bit, hook it up to your hose, and then you're good to go. So um, a couple more steps than just hooking up your hose and go, but not that much, that not that much more. Uh, it's still very simple to use in your lawn. Um, these work as contact killers, so they're going to kill uh, any bugs that they come in contact with, as well as the cedar scent that it leaves from the cedarwood essential oil will help repel uh, bugs for up to a month. Uh, if you have an active pest issue, you're probably going to want to treat more often, maybe once every two weeks or even once a week, depending on how bad your pest problem is till you get it under control. After that, about monthly for maintenance. Um, now, granules. This that I have right back here is our pet safe granules. Uh, the product itself is the exact same as our bagged granules. The kit that I'm talking about, the lawn and garden kit, will come with the bagged granules. But I wanted you to be able to see what the granules look like, their actual consistency here. It kind of looks like confetti. Um, so we do sell our granules in a small gallon sized container if you have a very small space to treat. Um, but this bottle right here doesn't come with any of the kits because it treats very, very small amount of space. Your kits are going to come with a bag of it. Um, 
But we do get the question a lot, what's the difference between pet safe and granules? Are the granules not pet safe because this is called pet safe? And the answer is that they're exactly the same. They're just packaged a little bit differently depending on your needs. So um, that is all I think I have. I guess I'll tell you a little bit about the granules. So they're going to work to repel, not just kill. Um, or I'm sorry, not kill. They're only going to repel. So by using them in conjunction with our sprays, you're going to get extra repellency to help it last a little bit longer and give you more repelling power uh, through the, the month before you got to treat again. Um, they're great for patio plants as well to help repel mosquitoes in the places that you like to hang out outside. Um, you can sprinkle it around your fence line or around your um, uh, perimeter of your home to, to create a barrier, a repellent barrier. Um, you can also just sprinkle it throughout the lawn. Uh, we have some people who will put them in a sock or stockings and hang them in their closets uh, to help repel moths and other uh, clothing or fabric eating uh, bugs. So lots of uses for the granules. So if you don't use them all in your lawn, there are lots of other ways that you can use it. So this kit is by far the best value if you're tr looking to get rid of bugs in your lawn. Um, it works for mosquitoes, fleas, ticks, ants, and mites or chiggers. Um, so lots and lots of different bugs that it, it's also going to help with, with others that I didn't list, but those are the ones that we have testing for. So, um, all right, we're going to check the comments and see if we got any questions. Um, my moderator, Amy, behind the camera is going to feed me the questions. What we got, Amy? Great. So you just covered a little bit of this, but Tiffany uh, asked about the granules, and she said, do you just sprinkle it on the lawn? Yes, so Tiffany asks, do you just sprinkle the granules on the lawn? Um, I did just go over that a little bit, but to clarify, you can sprinkle it on the lawn. We have some people who use uh, a seed spreader. You're going to put it on like the lowest setting um, and use that to spread it across your lawn. You can also, what a lot of us do here is we take this bag here and you take a screwdriver or a pair of scissors and poke a few holes in the bottom and walk around with it to sprinkle them. Um, or like I mentioned, you can put them in, in potted plants or in um, uh, bags and put them inside or just sprinkle it throughout your lawn or as a perimeter. So great question, Tiffany. Thank you. Is there a certain time of day that you need to treat your yard? Okay, so question is, is there a certain time of day that you need to treat your yard? Um, the best answer to that is either early morning or early evening as the sun's starting to set. This is the time that pest, uh, pests, the unwanted ones, the ones that you don't want in your lawn anymore, are most active. Things like mosquitoes and fleas are going to be most active in the cooler hours of morning as the sun's coming up or evening as the sun is setting. Um, this also helps because you're spraying your lawn with water. It's best to do it at those times because the sun is not at the heat of the day. It's not going to cause any sort of um, burn on your grass from having water sitting on it uh, at the hottest point in the day. So we recommend morning or evening. Is it safe to use on plants or gardens? Um, is it safe to use on plants or gardens? And the answer is yes. So these formulas of sprays are designed to be plant safe. Um, they do have a bit of essential oil. That is what makes them, um, gives them their, their bug killing power. But otherwise, it is a water-based product so that it, um, it doesn't cause any kind of oil burning on any plants. Um, great question. So Tiffany also asked if the granules dissolve into the lawn. Um, so Tiffany asked, do the granules dissolve into the lawn? Um, great question. So the granules are made from the heart of the cedar tree. So it is cedar wood that's ground up very finely. Um, so they don't really dissolve per se because they're little bits of wood. Um, they do disperse into your lawn. If you get heavy rains that cause flooding, it may pick them up and pull them out of your lawn because wood floats. Um, but they're not really going to dissolve per se. Good question. All right, so the question is, uh, which should you use first, the spray or the granules? And the answer is really whatever you prefer. 
So for me personally, what I like to do is to spread the granules first and then spray my lawn. Um, the reasoning for me is that when I wet them down a little bit, when you wet down the granules, it kind of pulls the natural oils out of the wood, as well as kind of helps it to incorporate with the ground around it uh, so they don't get blown away by the wind if it happens to be a bit of a windy day. Uh, we do have other employees, though, who prefer to spray first and then put down the granules because they found uh, that when they're spraying their lawn, sometimes their water pressure is high enough that it pushes the granules around and they don't prefer that. Um, but the easy answer is, is that it doesn't really matter um, as far as effectiveness goes, whichever you prefer. Um, great. Deborah asks, how often do you replace the granules? Great question. So guys, if you didn't hear, Deborah asked, how often do you need to replace the granules? Uh, for the granules, we recommend, recommend about every four to six weeks. So they do last a little bit longer than our sprays do. Um, but typically, if you're treating your yard monthly, you're probably going to want to at least put a few granules out to refresh them. Um, like I mentioned earlier, if you get a heavy rain that causes flooding in your lawn, you're going to want to reapply both, both the granules and the spray. But light rains are okay. If it's just uh, a little bit of rain that just soaks into the soil, that's actually going to reinvigorate your granules and you don't have to worry about re-spraying with the lawn spray. Is it safe for pets and is there any downtime after treating your yard? Okay guys, the question was, is it safe for my pets and is there any downtime? Do I have to wait before I can let my pets into the lawn? The answer is yes, it is totally safe for your pets. And no, there is no downtime. Uh, you could have your pets running around in your lawn with you while you're spraying the lawn spray and you don't have anything to fear. Um, we do get the question a lot is what if my dog likes to eat the grass? Totally safe there too, whether you spray or you use granules. If your dog likes to eat grass, you're totally okay. It is 100% safe for them as well as for kiddos. So if you've got little ones, totally safe to use with them in the yard as well. Uh, you don't have to worry about waiting an hour or two before you're letting them back in the lawn. Awesome. Um, one more, is it safe to use around chickens? Okay, is it safe to use around chickens and other yard birds? The answer is twofold. So yes, it is safe to use in lawns that, uh, that have free range chickens, but what we recommend is that you pen them up, put them in a different area while you spray, um, and then there is a bit of downtime for chickens. You want to let the spray settle because the cedar oil will still be in the air immediately after spraying. Um, and cedar oil, when inhaled by birds, can be irritating to their respiratory system. So in order to avoid any irritation, um, leave your birds in their um, crated up somewhere or in the chicken coop while you spray the lawn. Give it about two hours to rest to allow those oils to settle back into the ground, and then you're good to let your chickens free range. Um, as for the granules, uh, we get a lot of people who ask if when you spray it or you sprinkle it on the ground, are they going to get confused and try to eat it? And if so, is it gonna harm them? The answer is from, from employees who have chickens, they say that the granules are totally fine. Uh, when they first started using them, their chickens kind of pecked a little, wondering what it was, but once they figured out, ah, this isn't good, they left it alone and it's totally fine and safe for them as well. I sprinkle them all around the chicken nest because mosquitoes get back there and it is not affected them negatively at all. Awesome. I don't know if you guys can hear Amy. Um, she's kind of far away from the mic, but she uh, she's back there running the show as my producer and um, she has chickens and she mentioned that she sprinkles the granules all around their coop and around their nest because it gets kind of mosquito heavy in their chicken coop. Um, so she uses the granules in there pretty consistently to help with mosquitoes and has no problems with them at all. Deborah asks if the granules repel mites. Great question, Deborah. We do get that one a lot is do uh, the granules repel mice? So technically no, it's not going to repel mice. It's not what it's designed for. We have no testing for it. However, we have uh, had a few customers who tell us that by using our products, both the lawn sprays and the granules consistently, that they are seeing less rodents in their lawn. Um, that could be because some rodents do eat bugs, 
Um, but we have no testing on that, so we cannot confirm or deny that it will repel mice. All right, I think that is all of our questions. Thank you guys so much who got on here and asked questions live. And just a reminder, um, it's up at the top, but we're about to switch uh, slides. But if you comment in the first 24 hours, so by 3 p.m. on Saturday, uh, then you are entered for a chance to win a lawn and garden kit. And we will reach out to the winners probably on Tuesday after we get back from the holiday weekend. So. Uh, if you had any questions that weren't answered while we were live today, you can chat with us at cedarside.com. There's a little chat button in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Um, we will answer your questions, any questions you might have regarding um, bugs in your lawn or in your home or preventing bug bites on yourself or your pets. We are here to answer your pest control questions. So chat with us. Or if you'd rather talk to a person on the phone, our phone number is listed on the bottom of the screen. And uh, we will be closed for Labor Day on Monday, but we will be here today and tomorrow answering phones. So uh, give us a call or chat with us. We'd love to help you out. Um, otherwise, make sure that you uh, follow us on Twitter, follow us on Facebook, subscribe here on YouTube, and click the little bell so that you get notifications when we have future live streams. All right, guys, have a great and safe holiday weekend. We'll see you.